No matter what the weather is, you can always create your own sky within After Effects. This video is going to cover how to create a sky. I'm scrubbing through the timeline. However, if you play it at real time, it will softly change across time. You look at little parts here or here and watch them drift on by. This is pretty simple to achieve, or at least I'll show you how to simply achieve it. There's two main things going on. A four color gradient background and a solid with a fractal noise, fast box blur, combining using soft light, making sure you have this clicked, otherwise you won't see your blend modes to create this effect. The fractal noise is animated and I'll go through all this right now. Let's start with the four color gradient. You would find it in effects, typing in gradient, look for four color and just drag it out here. When you drag it onto a solid layer, if you don't know how to create a solid layer, just right click, new solid. And you could also apply this to an image, anything as a placeholder to apply this four color gradient. When you click on four color gradient, you could click on expanding it. Each region, let's say I want to change here to something a little darker. Just click here, select red, and that's a very red looking patch. You can then just bring it a little higher up to get this hint of a sunset happening somewhere off in the distance. To move around the gradient points, you could just click this locator. And each time you click a locator, it's going to jump to the point on screen where that locator is. So you click and then click again, click and click again. If I want to change this region up here, let me find that locator. So click, click, and it's this one. You could click that swatch, double click that swatch actually, and change it to a little brighter. I'm going to leave it kind of where it was, maybe making it an inch darker. So this is the four color gradient layer, first solid. Let me turn on the next solid layer, which contains a fractal noise and a fast box blur. Turning off the fast box blur, ooh, yeah, well, it's one of those mozzarella looking pizza cloudy days. If you don't want it to look smooth like this, that's all controlled by the fast box blur. And the fractal noise is what animates the movement of the clouds. So if you don't want it to be so soft, change that to one or turn it off completely. Maybe you want it to look softer. You could select a number higher, like six or eight. Just blur things out, a nice soft look. Getting back to fractal noise. You'll find fractal noise in effects, just like you'll find fast box blur. Choosing choose noise and grains and just drag that to your top solid layer. And the only thing special I did under here, I added a little equation to make this fractal go. This evolution, it's what drives the fractal into changing across time. Going to click on down here, pressing UU to expose all of the parameters. And a long way to get there is just to click on effects and scroll on down to find one that says evolution. Let me remove my equation, which just drives it. Without it, there won't be any animation happening in C. So if you want to still, perfect. You want this to evolve across time, and here I'm evolving it by dragging that evolution, but you don't want to have to put keyframes. Option click on that stopwatch. Hold down the Option or Alt key on PC, it's Alt, and then use an equation, time multiplied by some number. How fast? I had 50, going a little faster, 100. Time represents the timeline. 
and then multiplying by a number of the timeline gets the speed happen. So here's a very quick cloud cover happening. I think I'm going to pull it back to 50. Turning back on the fast box blur layer. Now the final step as I drag the timeline just to show it. Final step is to combine these two layers together. If I didn't select soft light, which again you have to click the expand and collapse here to expose your modes, if it was just normal. Ew, ugly fractal. We don't want ugly fractal. We want a nice fractal. So you can experiment. You can try additive light. Very bright day. Screening. Not bad. I just selected soft light after doing experiments. That's the type of look I wanted. And now you have a very nice sky happening that you can apply to your scenes. as a cool looking background element. And as you can see, you can change the light. You could also animate the light. Here's a little bonus round. What if you want the sun to slowly move across? Just like before, these are just points. So just like before, you can select this point, click the, click the point stopwatch to create the first keyframe, move in time, click the little target here, and find a new position. Now this pinkish sunset is slightly moving across here. Now that's a little extreme. You might want to spread it out in time. This was just for demo purposes. You can move the position of these colors across time. You can even change the colors across time. I'll let you experiment with that. Hope everyone enjoys making their own sunsets and sky backgrounds in After Effects.